Guys, at this point, what can you really say about a player like Zaiwu? He is the king of clutches. Continuing to try and find more ground. Continuing to try and find oh! kill from in the flames. You can burn the man alive, but he's burnt the round to a crisp. And Zaiwu has to shine through in a one on two. He's got the first. He's he got the second. Zaiwu the god. He is above anything Ashes can create. He's a man of many words. Zaiwu, what is it like being in front of this amazing crowd? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know, again. <laughs> no. Nothing, okay. <laughs> what a surprise. Zaiwu, a man of few words. What have you got to say about winning this game? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He also happens to be the recipient of the most MVP awards in 2019 and the Score Esports Phenom Award 2019. In other words, he's pretty good. Good enough that picking and ranking 10 of his best plays was legitimately difficult, but we did it anyway. You're welcome. Starting us off is a sick little play that only a mechanical god could pull off. I'm talking about the time Zaiwu made Mirage his playground and aced the members of AGO in a matter of seconds. There were some legendary names of the French CS scene on the server that day, but honestly, who needs teammates when you can do this? Time actually winning out the underpass control. Capo with the M4 looking on for Zaiwu. Zaiwu trades it and turns on for the 2k. And maybe my doubts may be completely unwarranted as Zaiwu drops down, spots Sparrow and deals with him on for PHR's kill. Another ace to find in this series. This will be the second one for Zaiwu. Ace time potentially against the man. He's going to find it. Two aces and two maps for the young star of Vitality. And I think I might have just been convinced right there. Coming in at number 9 is a 1v4 clutch against none other than the greatest team in CSGO history, this time at DreamHack Masters Malmo 2019. With the bomb ticking away on Vertigo, Zaiwu was left in a very familiar position. Luckily, the French prodigy was up to the task, taking down four members of Astralis with enough time to defuse the bomb. And the USP one tap for the final kill? Oh, c'est magnifique. Zaiwu is going to have a fighting retreat, but he's even worried about the flank. He knows that Astralis has been working this map so well. There's one shot, Vegas. Not going to be able to punish him. Good follow-up from Zaiwu, but they're still searching, and he's got another. That's three kills on the right. He can go for this. He can go for this so much. I don't think he's going to win it. Oh, Astralis overextend, and Zaiwu has pulled something out of nowhere. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Uh, it, especially the way that he finishes it. Yeah, like, a little one tap. Just a sweet little one tap. Le one tap. <laughs> exactly. At the grand finals of ESL One Cologne 2019, Zaiwu and Vitality came face to face with the then darlings of Counter Strike, NA's powerhouse, Team Liquid. After TL brutalized Vitality in Map 1, it was Zaiwu who once again stepped up, put his team on his back, and closed out Map 2 in overtime with this 1v3 clutch. He's still on 34, I say still, he's on 34 ahead of everyone else. Nitro needs to make up for the fact that they lost B last time. RPK goes down and leaves with two. Nitro steps back out again, and Zaiwu to get the bomb back. Again, we said double overtime isn't out of possibility, isn't unbelievably oh. impossible, but it might be with Zaiwu finally hitting shots like that as he steps back into the door. And he won't play it. There's no rush. Slow it down as Nap walks out. Zaiwu confirms the second map for Vitality. And hey, while Vitality didn't end up winning the tournament, Zaiwu's phenomenal performance alone earned him his third HLTV MVP award of the year. Number seven is an ace clutch from the young French god, this time against Forza in the Mountain Dew League from May 2019. 40 seconds into the round, Zaiwu finds himself alone with the bomb in hand and miles away from a site. Now, if there's any player in the world right now who's going to pull this off, you better believe it's going to be Zaiwu. 32 now to his name, Zaiwu in the 1 versus 5 and AWP in his hands, and you see what he's able to do with it. Oh. He, so he spots out the head, yeah, Ridiculous. exit power eliminated. That's the first of what could be many more. There's a man who wears a cape on the server. Gotta be Zaiwu. Body shot coming down to Almazer. That's the second, and he's starting to build up the pressure for force. Bob is the magic stick you wanna see. <laughs> the third frag found, and he's hungry for more. He seems to have somewhat of a realization what's about to happen as Jerry comes in and sneaks 
very slowly to get closer and closer to the A site. Both seem to be frozen in, staying there and waiting patiently, as now it is only a move from Zai Wu to turn things around. The smoke has landed towards CT. Face crack is gonna approach back over toilets. Zai Wu has the read, he has the understanding, and he has the interest to find another! There comes the fourth, and Zai Wu is hungry for more! And is this man cannot stop getting them down one by one by one. It's the final frack he needs to get, and is Jerry taken out as well? Zaibu, you're a beast, you're a maniac, and you're the personal Grim Reaper of Vitality, who's humiliating them all. The truly sickening thing about this play is just how easy he makes it all look. Taking the number six spot on our list is another of the many moments at ESL1 Cologne 2019 in which Zaiwu earned the moniker of Prodigy. With the clock ticking away in a 1v3 clutch against one of NA's best rosters, Zaiwu lined up a ridiculous collateral to stop NRG's initial attempt at a plant. Retreating back to spawn to let time run out like any smart player would, Zaiwu thought he'd done enough. But even a heroic last second bomb plant by Tarek wasn't enough to deny the god of French CS. Good double kill for him, and now it's all on Saibu here. 14 seconds left. Oh, oh no, the bomb plant. It might be right in front. So, oh my god! He lines it up and shuts it down! And now we just need to wait. They can't plant the bomb anymore, Tarek. Yes, there's no time. I think he oh, he does get it in the last possible second. And Saibu is back for more. Looking for him. Already with the triple, just needs one more click of that scope and Tarek is hiding behind Tetris. Saibu knows, he's got back to back, quad kills, winning it for Vitality. You've never seen anything like it. What a ridiculous performance. Coming in at the halfway point is the time that Zaiwu really started putting the CSGO world on notice, with some fans calling him the French Simple. What did he do to earn that name for himself? Oh, just single-handedly ace Hellraisers with a scout against head armor. Jesus. Zaiwu waiting with the scout at the edge. There's the kill onto Hobbit. Advantage picked up. In Vitality would love to get a little bit more here, and Zaiwu has got himself a triple kill with a scout oh. quad from Zaiwu. Oh. And it's into a 3v1, and Zaiwu oh. gets the ears. Oh. Incredible stuff from Zaiwu. That's another ears that we've seen today from Zaiwu. Incredible stuff on the scout. Hellraiser just walked right into that one, and the Yarton French superstar knocks them all over. At number four on our list is yet another disgusting ace clutch from our favorite Frenchman, this time on one of CSGO's biggest stages, the Star Ladder Major. After failing to execute the classic Rush B matchmaking strat on Dust2, the French prodigy turns what was an inevitable round loss for Vitality into some good old Zaiwu magic. This would be such a historic comeback. Oh, Rush yep. B, it's a classic. Kick it, fighting him. Oh my god! Stood a chance. How does he win that fight? He's out in the open, chest out, fighting every single one, and somehow he comes out way on top. Saiwu now trying to fight his way back, and he's gonna have to get the ace to try and shut this round down and bring his team maybe finally back into the game a little bit. He's got the right idea, but Dren again is such a smart player. He's been playing forever, and he's sneaking up behind Saiwu. Still can't get the kill, and now Sanji ready and waiting. Saiwu, he's just tapping away at the door. He wants to fight. Is he gonna be able to get it? Still alive and only at 56 health. That's not a lot against that USB. He fakes the bomb a single time, and he's got the right. That is such a strong play. At number three, we have Zaiwu absolutely victimizing NRG for the second time on this list, this time during the semifinals of ECS Season 7 in London. With the North Americans swarming the A-bomb site on overpass, young Mathieu single-handedly shuts down NRG's push from outside of bathrooms in a play that makes one of Counter-Strike's top teams look like a silver matchmaking squad. They're gonna use that opportunity to make their way all the way towards the A-site. Stark is so aware, he's not gonna hit the shot. He was ready for it. Zaiwu will take him down. It's back to the four and four. It's definitely one long, but uh, 30 seconds remaining. Zaiwu's in one of the most overlooked positions in CSGO. We'll see if Dan thinks about it. He does. Should be a trade hit for Reaper. Oh my god, how is he getting away with this? Oh, 
Oh, Zaiwu! He has found three, make it four. It's the ace in total. And that is why he's considered one of the hottest prospects in CSGO right now. Absolutely unbelievable. And he just puts the whole team on his back and gets every single kill, Anders. Taking the runner-up spot on our list is a series-ending play that not only left viewers at home in awe, but the casters themselves. With Vitality on match point against Ents at CS Summit 4, Zaiwu took matters into his own hands with a play-up banana so aggressive, so balls to the wall, it would make simple blush. They okay. struggled massively on their T side as well. well. They're anticipating banana from the looks of it. Got four over here. It's gonna be Zaiwu that rings out first. No and way. Second. He's had enough. He's gonna keep going through it. He doesn't really care, does There's he? There's four here again. Oh! He wants the ball. Oh! Get him out of here. He's the closer. Zaiwu couldn't make it up. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Boys. Put, Put a, a fork in it, Henry. It. Put a fork in it, Jason. It's done. Oh wow. my god. Look, yeah, yeah look that's, that. that's deserved. That, that's, that's deserved. That. Coming in at number one on our list is a play from ESL1 Cologne 2019 that typifies what it means to be a phenom, what it means to be a prodigy, and what it means to be Zywu. Balanced on a razor's edge, this sublime clutch is a mix of aggression, cerebral play, and pure, raw skill. Plays like this is why we love Counter-Strike. Apex will sit back towards the bike and all a chance for the auto sniper, oh. but not a single kill coming in. Brawland steps up, three kills to Brawland, and Zai will eventually drop him on the floor, but it has to be the 1v4 clutch from Zaiwu. Oh. Near it comes in, barely enough health to survive here on Brawland, but Zaiwu wants to kill. There's the headshot, pulls it back, there's oh. the open, Zaiwu's got the triple. Crimson's the last man standing, and there's time for the defuse. Zaiwu wants to smoke the bomb. If you're cringe, you have to be scared, and Zywu wins it. That is unbelievable from the young Frenchman as Team Vitality will get a 16. This man always steps up when Vitality need him the most towards those key rounds. What is this? Oh. Well, that's it for the top 10 Zywu plays, at least so far. But I think you guys agree the way this kid is going, we could be here a year from now with an entirely new list. Okay, Colin's predictions for 2020 CSGO. FaZe Clan win every event, both majors become the greatest dynasty in the history of CSGO, even greater than Astralis somehow in one year. FaZe up, we back, baby. Yeah!